The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Saturday, July 8, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comment section below. Pittsburgh Pirates vs Arizona Diamondbacks The Pirates are in the midst of a seven-game road trip before the All-Star break and drop three out of four at the Dodgers in their first stop before moving on to Arizona. Pittsburgh came up short on Thursday, losing 5-2 to Julio Urias, 6-5, and only managing four hits in the game. Shortstop Nick Gonzalez drove in both of Pittsburgh's run with a second-inning double to tie the game, but starting pitcher Johan Oviedo, 3-10, gave up five runs in 6.2 innings to take the loss. Infielder Kevin Hayes returned from the injured list on Thursday and batted leadoff, going 0-4-3 in the loss. Still, Pittsburgh will welcome his return to the lineup as they strive to start getting healthy again. Hayes is batting .252 with 5 home runs, 32 RBI, 34 runs scored and 9 stolen bases on the season. He's one of several Pirates that have shown flashes this season, but they've struggled to put things together consistently at the plate lately. As a team, Pittsburgh is hitting .241 and scoring 4.3 runs per game this season, both of which rank 21st in the MLB. The Diamondbacks are on a six-game homestand prior to the All-Star break, but that may not be a good thing for them, based on how things have been going at Chase Field recently. The Mets finished off a three-game sweep of Arizona with a 9-0 decision on Thursday, making it five home losses in a row for the Diamondbacks. Arizona was out hit 17-4 on Thursday, and starting pitcher Ryan Nelson, 5-5, gave up nine hits and seven earned runs in three innings. Mitch Keller has been a consistent pitcher this season, so I am betting on the Pirates to win on the road against the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks have lost five straight home games, and their ace Zach Golan will be pitching on Friday. I do not trust the Diamondbacks to win on Saturday, especially if their starting pitcher is not announced yet. The Diamondbacks' bullpen has a 4.06 ERA this year, which ranks 18th in baseball. The Pirates are trying to stay in contention in a winnable division, and I think they will be motivated to steal a road win against a team that has struggled mightily at home lately. I recommend betting on the Pirates with the money line. The under has hit in 7 out of Arizona's last 8 games, and I like the chances of it hitting once again on Saturday. With several key injuries and their performance tailing off in recent weeks, I don't expect the Pirates to have much success at the plate. The Diamondbacks, meanwhile, have only exceeded three runs in one of their last five games. With both offenses looking sluggish lately, this could be a pitcher's duel at Chase Field, especially with at least one all-star selection on the mound. The under is 3-1-1 over Keller's last five starts, and he'll look to keep Arizona's bats quiet on Saturday in his final outing before the all-star break. Philadelphia Phillies vs Miami Marlins. The Philadelphia Phillies are healthy and hitting right now. Philadelphia is closing the first half on a high note as they climb up the playoff ladder in the National League. Philadelphia came to Miami fresh off of a three-game sweep of the Tampa Bay Rays, the top team in the AL, in Tampa. The Phillies outscored the Rays 14-6 in the series. Overall, the Phillies have won 8 of 10 games entering Friday night's game against the Marlins. On Friday night, the Phillies tied the franchise record for consecutive road wins with their 13th straight in a come-from-behind 4-3 win over the Marlins. Christian Patch hit a dramatic pinch hit to run homer in the ninth inning to give the Phillies the lead for good. For the second straight weekend, the Miami Marlins get a chance to show their medal against one of the powers of the NL East division. Things didn't go so well last weekend as the Marlins got swept by the Braves in three games and were outscored 29-7 in the series. The Marlins rebounded to take 3 of 4 against the Cardinals, although they lost a chance at a four-game sweep after being shut out 3-0 on Thursday. In Game 1 against Philadelphia on Friday night, the Marlins were just one out away from victory before a pinch hit two-run homer did them in. Starter Sandy Alcantara was sharp, allowing just one run in 6.2 innings of work, but did not figure in the decision. While the Phillies are playing excellent baseball and Saturday's starter Suarez has been excellent on the road, the Marlins have been better at home this season and have feasted on left-handed pitchers this season. The Marlins are hitting .308 as a team against lefties and are slugging .446. Overall, the Marlins are hitting .288 in the last 10 games and have scored an average of 5.5 runs per game in that span. Marlins starter Garrett has been excellent in his last three starts, with an ERA under three in that span. The Marlins have also won six of their last nine games at home and have won each of Garrett's last six starts and nine of his last ten. Look for the Marlins to pick up a win on Saturday behind Garrett once again. Take the Marlins with the money line. Our total pick is over. Atlanta Braves vs Tampa Bay Rays. 
after their 2021 World Series win. It appears as though the Braves have done nothing but get better, and with arguably baseball's hottest player, they continue to win big ball games, with a 9-2 record in their past 11 games on the road, as well as being 11-1 in their past 12 games played against teams with a winning record. They've stayed hot in recent times as well, winning 19 of their past 21 games, including an almost perfect 9-1 record in their past 10 games, and with their biggest stud set to take the mound in this one, things could be getting better. Speaking of, that stud would be Spencer Strider, who has become arguably the best pitcher in baseball this season, who hasn't taken a loss since late May, posting a 4-0 record in his past 5 starts, allowing 2 or less runs in 6 of his past 8 starts. On the season, Strider has a 10-2 record over 98.1 innings of work in which he struck out 155 batters, allowing just 76 hits, and if he's at his best, there's no team in baseball that can slow him down. While the Tampa Bay Rays have been the class of the American League all season, they've struggled as of late, and with the Baltimore Orioles just three games behind them in the Al East, the All-Star break couldn't come at a better time, as they have lost their past six games, while also being just 2-7 in their past nine interleague games. That gives them a 3-7 record in their past 10 games, a record unfathomable for those that have watched them play over the past four months, so they will be looking for a huge upset in this one, as they attempt to stop the bleeding just days before the All-Star break. On the mound, Tampa Bay turned to rookie right-hander Taj Bradley, who has been off to a very inconsistent start thus far in 2023, as he has a 5-4 record with a 5.27 ERA through 56.1 innings of work. His last two starts have lasted a combined 7.1 innings, with 12 earned runs given up over that time, including 5 home runs and 17 hits allowed, so until he can settle in and find his groove, it's tough for Tampa Bay to have confidence behind him. The Atlanta Braves have been on fire lately, winning 14 of their last 16 games. The Tampa Bay Rays, on the other hand, have been struggling, losing six straight games. The Braves will be facing off against one of the best pitchers in baseball, Max Fried, who has a 2.53 ERA this season. While the Rays are still the leaders in the Al East, the Braves are playing at a much higher level right now. They have been able to win games with small scores, as well as big scores. There is no team in baseball that can match up with the Braves right now, and I expect them to win this game. Despite Taj Bradley's struggles in recent times, these teams elevate against elite competition, as we saw in the 2-1 affair on Friday evening, and with the under sitting at 5-1 in the past six head-to-head -head meetings in Tampa Bay, expect more of the same here. For the Braves, the under is 7-3 in their past 10 overall games, while the Rays under sits at 4-1 in their past 5 games played at home, and with the number 3 and number 4 pitching staff in all of baseball, plus the Spencer Strider start, runs will be very scarce once again here. Keep it simple, take the under.